some of us Latinos are, you know, basically a little watered down. I, myself, I'm third generation, so um, I'm like Mexican light, you know. Um, great taste, but less feeling, you know what I'm talking about? So, uh, and people don't even know I'm Mexican half the time because I have this uh, dark shit under my eyes right here. So, uh, yeah, this is not good. I have to fly all the time, and this is not the look you want at the airport right now, trust me. Yeah. Uh, so I asked my doctor to send me a dermatologist. Uh, I was like, maybe they can uh, laser this shit off or something like that. <laughs> so he sends me to this doctor, dermatologist, true story. The guy walks in and I'm like, hey, I just want to see if you can laser this dark shit off. And he looked at me and went, I think you look fine. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, are you serious? What? You can't send me to Slumdog Medicare to get my dark circles checked. <laughs> he wanted to make them darker, right? He said, you should go darker, buddy, a little bit. Let's do the Punjabi, let's do the Punjabi. Like, Where's the light bulb? Clean the counter. Where's the light bulb? Clean the counter. Yeah. This is high quality comedy, by the way, coming at you guys. Um, I actually had a friend named Zaka uh, who was East Indian that stuttered. I don't know if you guys ever heard of stuttering East Indian. Uh, number one, rare. Number two, uh, freaking hilarious. This guy <laughs> sounded like Morse code when he talked because he had the uh, stutter, but the accent. He's like, but 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 Navy ships were pulling in. <laughs> Zaka, you're fucking up the Armada. Knock that shit out. <laughs> a lot of stuff's changing nowadays, too, you know, especially with like, uh, like, you know, a lot of new video games. I feel like I got ripped off, you know. The video games are amazing now, you know. And uh, when I was growing up, all, we, all I had was, the, you know, the joystick and the red button. This was the shit I. <laughs> you'd hit the, the red button to make it go faster, it wouldn't even make any difference. Like, <laughs> Piece of shit, Atari! <laughs> the graphics are amazing now, too. The graphics are unbelievable, right? It looks like real people in the televisions, you know? When I was growing up, I mean, the graphics, this is what I had. It's like, uh, who was doing the graphics back then? Etch and sketch is ridiculous, right? And I don't even think the kids can play like we play. They have too many accessories. Now it's a lot different for them, you know? Like even like uh, hide and go seek, right? Nowadays they're just, they don't care, you know, they got everything. They're like, all right, ready or not, here I come. Bobby, where's Timmy at? <laughs> yeah, I see his foot, I got him, dude. What's going on, dude? <laughs> I mean, when we played, sometimes we never even found one of the kids, right? <laughs> You have to go home. I gotta get home, man. It's dark. It's getting dark. I don't know where he is. Hopefully he'll pop up tomorrow. Last time I saw him, he was hiding in that creepy man's trench coat. Hey, come on. It was the 70s and 80s. It was, it was before To Catch a Predator, all right? I blame, I have a lot of blame on the parents, too. I think a lot of parents, uh, first of all, it starts with that stroller. They gotta get those kids out of that stroller a lot sooner. They're leaving with in the stroller too long. I mean, you know, I saw this kid the other day. He was sitting in the stroller, right? His feet were dragging like this. He had a diaper on and I could see some pubic hairs. I'm like, get that freaking kid out of there. What are you doing to that guy? He's gonna start masturbating in a week. This is ridiculous. And here's another thing. I gotta fly all the time. If you fly with your kids, if your parent, please, no candies on the flights, okay? No candies. I was behind, they had a seven-year-old girl behind me on a six-hour flight, four hours, she's kicking the back of my seat, right? I'd never thought about murder in my entire life, right? <laughs> Except this one, I'm thinking, how do I snuff this girl out? Thinking about grabbing my pillow, just putting pressure for a couple of minutes. I couldn't figure out what was keeping her awake, right? So finally, I like peeked in between, and she's sucking on this pixie stick the size of a pole vault, right? She's like, she's like that, she's all gacked out. She's like, I'm like, if you're traveling with your kids on a plane, there's only two things you should give them, Ambien or Lunesta, that's it. Because <laughs> I know when I travel, you know, when we were kids traveling, we didn't even fly. We just took long driving trips, you know? And I realized recently that my mom always gave us two tablespoons of cough syrup before we left. <laughs> that's genius, and not, not the shitty cough syrup they have. I'm talking about Vicks Fromal, the 44D, okay? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Which, by the way, is the original Jägermeister, if you didn't know that shit. <laughs> 
my mom would always be waiting. I'd be like, I don't have a cough, mom. And she'd have that big tape. She'd go, this is so you don't catch one on the way, mijo, okay? <laughs> Let me tell you something. 10 minutes into that drive, we're like, Disneyland, we're going to Disney. <laughs> Woke up, we're there. We're here, man. Took 10 minutes, yeah. <laughs> Here's a problem. You can't shake off Vic's formula 44D. <laughs> We're the only groggy kids at Disneyland. <laughs> Here's another thing, technology. I don't like when technology starts stepping into my everyday life, you know? Like uh, the bathrooms, the public restrooms. We have the motion sensors now to flush the toilets. Like, first of all, I didn't even know flushing a toilet was a problem for everybody in this country. I can speak for the guys. This is all we have to do. <laughs> That's it. We don't even need arms. You can headbutt it. <laughs> she can go like that. Here's the problem, these motion sensors don't always work properly, you notice that? It's very awkward. You ever walk into a public restroom, everybody looks like really bad magicians? <laughs> you know, you walk into that, you, who the hell are you? Piss angel, mind freak, what's going on in here? And the stalls, man, the stalls are never timed right, right, ever. I'm in the stall, I had my, my pants at my ankles, I hadn't done shit, literally, I had not done shit. And then this vortex, this Katrina pulled me down, <laughs> like that. I was like, oh my God, I just got a Brazilian wax. What the hell is going on in here? I think we should uh, make use of the uh, retired rappers. Uh, I think we should send them in the military and use them as code talkers. <laughs> Because uh, you know, World War II, Korea, Vietnam, we used Navajo Indians as code talkers because they didn't have a written language. Oorah. You could not, uh, oorah, there we go, we got a Marine in the house. Give it up for the Marine, everybody. <laughs> oorah. That's what they say. That's the Marines. Marines is oorah. The Army is hua, and the Navy is ooh, ah. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Hey, come on. Come on, there's a bunch of seamen. What are you talking about? Thank you for knocking me off track, sir. I appreciate that. Uh, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Easy, easy. He's Mexican. I'm fucking scared and shit. <laughs> you want to fight right now or what, eh? Let's go. I'm fucking kick your ass right here, boys. Let's go. Uh, I don't give a shit if you're a non one or not, homes. I'll kick your ass right here. What, eh? What? But if we, we use, if we use rappers, old rappers in the military, no country would ever be able to de, you know, decode that hip hop talk, right? I'd love to see the chain of command come down. All right, take this down, Corporal Ludacris. <laughs> the general has ordered the strategic bombing of the E-1 facility, effective immediately, over, send. Now this rapper has to send it to another rapper, but it is hip hop talk, right? So he's like, yo, what's up, dog? What's up, what's up? Yeah, that's right, that's right. You gotta feel me on this one, dog. This for real. I'ma let you know what's happening right her, right her. <laughs> what's about to happen right there, right there. <laughs> Yo, the general has given an order. <laughs> the Strateezy is a biz on the E1 for ZZ. <laughs> Yo, snap quick. Holla back! Yeah. 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 Now think about the enemy trying to listen in and decode that. The enemy's listening going, what is this bullshit? <laughs> this is nothing, this is bullshit, it's not English. Did you hear him say Allah is back? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, all right. Yeah, Ura, Ura. Uh, speaking of Middle Easterners, um, I, uh, I just recently moved to uh, Encino, California, which I believe is the capital of Israel, I think. Uh, I have to tell you this story that happened. Uh, there was a uh, there was a big uh, buffed out uh, Persian guy, was, uh, which they're Iranians, but they say they're Persian because it sounds better, right? Uh, even though Persia hasn't existed for centuries. Um, it's like, where are you from? Iran. Oh, you're Iranian? I'm not Iranian, I'm Persian. Okay. <laughs> That's like me going up to some Mexican guy. Where are you from? Mexico. Oh, so you're Mexican? No, Aztec. You know, you can't, <laughs> you can't hold on to shit forever. You know? So, 
So this guy, he's this big buffed out Persian guy. You ever see the big buffed out guys who only work on their upper body, but not their legs? You ever see these guys? Look like a meatball and a pair of toothpicks, right? So I'm standing out front waiting for somebody to pick me up, right? And then outside this apartment complex, someone's parked behind his car, and he doesn't know who, right? And this guy sees me, thinks I know, right? He comes right at me, he goes, hey, 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 is this your parking? In my parking? I was like, uh, you know me? No, no, no. Then who's, who's, who's parking in my parking? <laughs> now right then, the neighborhood rat comes out. You know, the guy doesn't work during the day, knows everybody's business on the block. He comes out eating cheese. Like, yeah, I know who you're looking for. Two girls and a guy, they went in that apartment. It's about a half hour ago. So now this Persian guy knows that the owner of the vehicle is in that apartment complex somewhere, right? And he decides to go to the intercom. You can't see anybody, and he's going to dial everybody and find out whose cars are. He's like, tuk, 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 tuk. Uh, yeah, hello, yeah, yeah. Is this your parking? In my fucking parking? I, I'm sorry, I didn't. Is this your parking in my fucking spot of mine? Stupid. And he hangs up on her. I'm like, who the hell is this guy, right? Goes to the next one. Uh, yeah, hello, yeah, yeah. Is this your parking? In my fucking parking. Um, no. Then who's, who's, who's parking in my fucking parking? So why I get involved at this point, I have no idea, right? So I go, look, man, I'm afraid this guy's gonna get shot. I'm like, it's a 2004 Ultima. It's a red 2004 Ultima. We would use that that I just gave you, right? And, and relay it the same way. Not this guy. Tuk, 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 tuk. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this your parking? In my parking with Ultima of red? I, I'm sorry, I didn't quite. Is this your parking in my parking in 2004? <laughs> yes or fucking no? I realized that this guy's like that probably all the time. This is the kind of guy, this is the type of dude that probably calls up information, you know? Information? What city? Please. No city. I want friend Rahim. You have? <laughs> I'm sorry, so you have to have a city? I don't want fucking city. I want friend Rahim. You have? Yes or fucking no? Okay, forget, forget. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Forget! Okay, it's 411, right? 411, 411, information? I want you to tell me who's parking in my fucking parking! I'm actually really a Mexican uh, with, with a little bit of Portuguese. My mom's half Portuguese. You know what's interesting is, uh, I always tell people, people go, people come up to me and go, what are you? We can't figure, are you Greek, are you Italian? Are you, I get a lot of Middle Eastern, I get Persian, I get uh, uh, East Indian. Um, and I always go, uh, well, um, my mom's half Portuguese. And for some reason, people always go, oh, that's it. Which makes absolutely no sense at all because this is not what Portuguese look like. I lived in the valley uh, for quite a while. So, uh, so but I, I get mistaken a lot of times for the uh, Middle Eastern, the Iranians, the Persians. They, you know, sometimes they see me and they used to go, hey, hey. But this, what, these young guys one time, they go, they go, hey, hey, my friend, my friend. Huh? You Persian? And I go, oh, yeah, no, this dark right here. No, no, no. I go, uh, I'm Mexican. And the guy goes, hey, you should have stuck with Persian, my friend. Huh? That's my time, you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you.